Hey fun fans! To get the word out about First Choice, our friends at Animark have provided a sweet giveaway of a snowblower motor with hex output. To enter, be a YouTube subscriber and let us know in the comments which product you'd like to see in round 2 of First Choice. You can enter on any video that has this intro and our winner will be announced on the fun Discord after December 3rd. So make sure you comment below. First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Let's start out taking a couple minutes uh, before we get into uh, how and let's ask the why. So, uh, Jerry, I want to start with you. Can you explain maybe why do we even have first choice? What's the history behind it? Uh, and why do we even have a virtual kit of parts at all, really? Uh, well, as far as first choice, I'll just direct into that one specifically. Um, first choice started with Andy Martin first kind of working, uh, trying to figure out what to do in 2011 with some of these parts where the, we, there was so many teams and only so many widgets. So like a company, if they have 400 widgets, they want to donate. Uh, if there's right now, there's like 5,000 teams. So if a company can't handle donating 500 of an item or 5,000 of an item for one team, a team to get one of everything, what do you do? Um, first choice has kind of helped with that solution. Uh, the other big problem is what if, all 5,000 teams don't want this item. So like a lot of veteran teams have a plethora of pneumatics. And I've heard like, stop giving us pneumatics. We don't want any more. So like that's that's another thing. You may see where there's a quantity out there of one of these items that is actually plenty for teams, um, but they don't, uh, but since they all like we kind of kept getting messages back and forth uh, from first saying, hey, or to first, at, after the fact saying, hey, we've, we've gotten enough of this stuff. We, we don't need it anymore. Um, that's kind of where we've thrown it up here or it's something else The maybe there's some other special speculation um, that has happened where they can't get it to the kit of parts in time. So maybe it ends up in first choice. Uh, I don't think anything like that happened this year, but that's been, a, been something in the past. So the idea is trying to find other ways where the kit of parts, the standard kit of parts just doesn't work. So this is another way of trying to get as much stuff to the team as possible. Um, 2011, I think it was just like four different kits that you could choose from, uh, and we bounced through. Now it's uh, the First Choice website. There's a, I think there's 179 or 180, something like that, if they, for at least round one. Uh, we've, the past few years, have developed this round one and round two priority list process, uh, where we, you, you end up putting in your ranking of what the parts that you want. And there's a whole process we'll go through later of how all this works, but it's, it's tended to work out pretty well. Um, and you'll see items in there that have, we've had for years because they've donated so many. Uh, you'll see some items in there that are continually come back every year. Um, but yeah, there, there's some of them are really decent. Some of them are fun, like the yoga ball or, you know, fuel, you need fuel. You, gotta, you, you guys gotta still have fuel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have a little bit. <laughs> you must almost be out. Let me, let me check how many you have in 1700 quantity in stock. I mean, times six, that's only, no, that's not bad, right? Yeah. That's only what we donated the first choice. Oh, <laughs> okay. Every once in a while, people tend to get that as a packing material. So if you get it as packing material, we didn't accidentally give you free fuel. We did it on purpose. Um, so actually I've got a question for you, Jerry, while you're going through it. Uh, this first choice website, it's not a normal shopping website. In fact, the only thing we ever really pay for is shipping. Uh, how does that all work? How'd that come about? Um, well, we tried to do um, on our, we have a new web hosting system I'll throw out right now called Work Area, and I'll throw a pitch to them, Work Area. It's a great, great platform. It's actually open source now. Uh, we pay them for hosting and some of their advanced features. But um, otherwise, the we had a, um, company called Volusion was hosting our site before and we got kind of cornered into a box but all you could do around Volusion was JavaScript everything hmm. so the first few years first year was kind of a standard product and it was kind of confusing because every single order that came in somebody manually had to like go figure everything out and then double check to make sure it works for the order it, it was it was kind of a nightmare to handle and that was only with 2,000 teams so I can't even imagine doing it with 5,000 now um, and then for the next two years after that, we still had it on that site, but we ended up doing a JavaScript workaround. So like you had to log in through a, like if any, any programmers out there you had to do a whole bunch of Ajax calls to a database somewhere else to find out how many credits the team had to do something else. And it just became a nightmare and it wouldn't work for some people would work for others. 
Um, it was also the, the, the whole uh, everybody jumping on it as fast as yeah. possible. Um, and then 2012 came about where we decided, you know what, we need to actually just, let's just try to do this on its own and its own website, which was a great idea. And, you know, I, I, I knew a little bit about how to host websites. I was deferring to a few other companies who said that they could handle the load. And if anybody remembers 2012, uh, First Choice kind of had a couple little <laughs> gaps there where we no, no. couldn't do anything. Um, it was it was definitely an experience into uh, the World Wide Web uh, for me um, and, and what to look for after that. So I learned a lot more very, very quickly in that short amount of time. We actually host with a company called Liquid Web right now, and it's a platform called Knob Commerce, which is just an open source shopping cart platform that we modified. Um, had a couple guys in-house that helped work on it. Um, and it's been kind of been getting modified every year uh, till what it is. We there's hasn't been any modifications from last year to this year. It's pretty much identical to what it was last year. Um, uh, otherwise, it's it's kind of what it came about. The problem we always had was what co shopping cart system gives stuff away for free. Um, that that was where our problem was. It was like, well, I don't any e shopping cart place you went to and you said, yeah, so we want to actually give products away for free and only have the customer pay for shipping. They're like, where do you make money? This doesn't make sense. I'm like, that's not the point. That's, that's a whole different story. So that's where this whole thing came came about and was developed. And um, and even the first, after 2012, 2013 was still very difficult with the, um, <laughs> thanks, Will. <laughs> the, um, the priority list process was actually, uh, brought up to us by by the first community to say, hey, this this isn't working. It's Everybody's trying to jump on at the same time, still causing a lot of problems. We actually like did a, a big, huge server to be able to handle the load, and it was still kind of a problem. It was very sluggish. It was always first come, first serve, which was a pain. Whoever was in California near our servers was able to put the priority list or their mm. stuff in first back then. So the priority list process has helped a lot in the past few years. Yeah. Very kind cool. of a brief overview there. Yeah, a whole lot and, of detail in there. You know, we we've, we've seen that evolution too with uh with uh essentially the choice for events as well, right? And that seems yep. to be very mm -hmm. well received and to have uh, I think that sort of process it's, it's all an iteration, right? Like I mean, you guys are doing something that's fantastic, but you know, when you have a, a uh, clientele that is like those in first, uh, there's always going they're always going to find the smallest little things, right? And sometimes the really oh, big yeah. things too. And it's it's always great oh. to hear though that you are listening and that you are wanting to always get better. So that's definitely appreciated on the community's behalf as well. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.